Hello ladies. I know it's been forever. I haven't seen I haven't said hello ladies for I don't know like probably about five months or so. Um I had an operation back in October and I couldn't do much for about a month and around the same time we had some sad news in our family so it also kind of set me back. Then in January we went to India for a bit and um I think well the long the longer I left it, the hardest it was to come on here. Um, just a bit of shyness as well, I don't know. But I'm here now and I, I've created a few kits and I made these journals using those pages and they're too pretty not to share. So what I've done, I'd, I was just going to do one video for like f about four pieces and uh, just to share also I had some requests on um, on Etsy to show roughly how I went about creating them. But just before, um, when, while I was in India, I've shared, one sec, I've shared a video of this um, market. Um, well, we go in, in, in Goa, we go always to the same place. There is like a lovely community there. Uh, mainly, I would say, I don't know, British, French, Switzerland, people from Germany. So it's the same people that we know for about 10 years. So nearly every year, beside during COVID time, uh, we go there um, and we go and we just have love, like really nice people. Uh, they are settled there, I'd say. Uh, it's only us that come and go and come and go. Um, even Liam, even though it's a short time, he still goes to the same school he used to go there before. It's a beautiful school. It's kind of linked to the school here in the UK, so I don't get so much trouble to get him out of school. And yeah, anyway, so I showed a video from the market that I, I usually visit, and I got these pieces, and I think Sandy asked me to share what I've got from there. Now, I must say, I, I didn't bother with much laces because I can get them here in the UK. Also, they are not the greatest quality. And unless maybe I went to a fancy shop, I could find nice laces and nice sari fabrics. But um, uh, I just wanted to get something that I can't really get here in the UK. So these are some of the pieces. These are so, so cheap. The quality isn't the greatest, but it will do the work um so cheap i can't even say it in i don't know like maybe i don't know 30 cents i don't know f i don't know 25p something like that per meter so that's like really cheap so i'm just sharing quickly what i got from there i didn't buy a lot i mean this piece is beautiful i didn't buy a lot because i don't do colorful as much but it was too hard not to buy so these are some of the pieces and um let me try and grab a few i don't know why i've cut them into pieces i don't know what i was thinking so this is kind of the same range um from this style and this is more of a fabricy, velvety. See, so you've got all these bits and pieces, and it's quite dirty in places. <laughs> and the finishing is not the greatest, but it's it's it was too hard not to get. So, this is some parts they add to saris, I believe as well. So I took a few pieces, and what else I've got in here? Uh, so a few trims like this, and some here. So it's it feels more plasticky, but um, I'm certainly I'm certainly going to oh yeah that's another nice piece, um, I'm certainly going to cooperate them with my uh, with my new pieces. Uh, I'm gonna put this away. So this is for you, Sandy. <laughs> I hope I pronounced my, your name correctly. Well, so this is one of the kits. Uh, this kind of paper I got from, um, oh gosh, there is a, I dropped some, probably water here, there is a mark. Ah, okay, no one knows. <laughs> so, ah, so bad of me, I often work in the kitchen table and if I stop to do a few things, I normally cover it 
um, with some fabric or a tea towel so it could be that the tea towel <laughs> was a bit wet I don't know bad of me um, so yeah I got this paper again it was so cheap to get this in the UK for a piece like that it's at a, I don't know like five pounds six and a half dollars there I got a pack of ten huge like I think a one size card for nothing for like a dollar so it was too hard not to take a few pieces with me I did have to trim it down a bit to get into the suitcase but um, I now regret not taking more because this is like the main color I use but anyway so I use this as the main cover and then so this is one of the pages from this kit um, I've layered it a bit as a topper here and so that's a one way to create your cover if you don't use full paper uh, like a pattern paper so I've incorporated some of this card um, tea stained paper crepe paper I've sewn around some lace below underneath and then I stack it on the top and here a bit of crepe paper to create this uh, ruffle here and and then yeah so this bit after printing this i've realized it's gonna after printing and making this i've realized it's gonna be they're gonna be too big if you're gonna make like a, a, um, a tall slim journal so i've i've shrunk the size a bit so it's easier to incorporate and then i this is the end one of the envelopes that comes with it, this kit oh, there's some extra bits and pieces and i took the pages basically and i just folded the main pattern pages into two it comes with a uh, pattern like background pages as well so uh, i've just folded them into two i think i created like not a tutorial but after printing the full kit i did a quick video how i'm going to go about this kit <laughs> before making it so i am um, i will try and upload this at the end of this video I have like a couple of these and with some extras I just that I have leftovers created some pockets and I'm just gonna I've uh, also combined some uh, tea stain paper I think this is printed on a parchment paper yeah that's a parchment one so I've printed a couple of extra pages from this kit and yes let me see okay yeah and yeah so this is probably one of my favorite um page from this kit i can't believe that's the middle page i haven't done anything in here never mind <laughs> so yeah parchment paper so let me see if i can find the difference between a parchment paper to yeah so this page and this page is the same uh, this is printed on ivory paper this is on parchment paper so it's a bit more softer on this page um, on this kind of paper and then I've used some of the pieces as pockets what I've done I have let me just go through everything I'm rushing I'm well rushing it I'm going through the pages quickly just because I have like three more kits to show so uh, yeah I there's a page yeah see is it this kit no uh, and normally I always uh, do this side of my journals quite busy but I think because I wanted to show a bit more of this card on the inside I left it blank just with just one piece um so i wanted to say one more thing i don't remember what it is now oh yeah so what i've done after after creating this piece like the pages together i've measured this card and then i've punched two small holes going through all the pages um and then i've just you can hardly see it but i've just um thread there's a thread here with a knot here in the middle uh, I might have let me see no I know I've sewn it since it was about a month ago I I've sewn all these pages together because it's quite thin and after it was like uh, sewn together then I've punched the two holes and it was easier to handle and 
from the extras I had from leftovers and I think I printed a couple of extra from the leftover of the extra papers I've printed I've just uh, created this mini uh, journals because I, obviously I didn't want to um, I didn't want to bin these extras so there you go so that's one piece on to the second one my favorite and uh, i think i don't normally work with white um but because some of the images here are light in color i thought that's the wrong order <laughs> yeah i decided to create this wallet in white and i'll show you in a minute so uh, there is only this kit comes only with just one page as the cup like as a cover suggested to use as a cover but i uh, and with all the rest that comes with long like full page pattern papers which i have just trimmed into size to match to the cover and then i think I've created pockets here. Not that many. Oh, yeah, it comes with pockets. There is a pockets page. I've printed only one, but you can print more. Um, so I think I've done the same here. Let me see how I went about it. No, I did a few signatures. And then, mm, no, same. Two holes. <laughs> My memory. <laughs> two holes here and then I um, sound like I've, I've thread the note through and, and not in the middle. Let me look for the middle. How to do this? Maybe here? No. Okay, it doesn't matter. Here, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I remember. Um, and this one I left quite, I wanted to sh that these ro the roses uh, will be noticeable. So I thought if it's going to be on a um, kind of packed pages, uh, you won't notice them so much. So, oh, Liam is just waking up. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's the kit. And then there are some bigger pieces that come with the with this kit. So I thought instead of just inserting them inside the journal, I will just create a special, uh, like an extra, thing to go with it uh, with some pockets so it's not too uh, busy and you can notice them uh, more when I say you I don't know who I'm referring to probably myself <laughs> uh, because I just collect the journals I make I, I gift a few here and there and no one around me in my circle appreciate even tiny bit this hard work we all put in in our journals I don't think people realize how long it takes I probably these two pieces together is about a day and a half for me anyway so um, I don't just say uh, give them to people who don't appreciate paper crafting and I would rather collect them and have my own collection so right so I I my sewing is the worst even with the sewing machine I have no idea I've managed to leave these leftovers here I'll need to go through like try to sew it a bit just got a bit thicker here and um, but uh, I'm, i should manage so what i've done i've kind of created kind of a few pockets and um, i've printed this on white paper so so it will match the white here i want to show you i'm obsessed without with printing so i want to see the difference of this printed on to show you the i so you see this is um kind of the same design printed on white, printed on cream. There is a huge difference. I hardly print on white, sometimes on white thick card, but not to get like nice, good quality images. But otherwise I usually go with ivory. So, yeah, so I've, uh, so there's this pretty dress here. Um, these two cards here, which took me forever to trim around because I do it by hand and there are these two pieces i think one is on the back and this, this is the second dress so beautiful i need to think of something else to make with this but i couldn't think about anything else at the time beside making this but it will come to me 
so I've done it in a way that there will be extra pockets on the back here so that's another one here and I was gonna put lace and buttons but then it was going to cover the writing so I might print another piece and think of another way to combine it maybe with a journal like another page of these and this is the second one goes right here and on the back here and uh, this is um just an old jewelry bag i think or maybe i had a soap in here i can't remember and i just put one oh this turned around i'll fix it later so sorry ocd <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, okay. So it's just a nice to tuck things together in a see-through bag and you can put more stuff. But I wanted these pretty roses to show. So that's another one. And let me go on to the next one. There we go. I think yeah, so this is normally what I do. I would um lately with the latest kit. So I combine paper like pattern paper with some images and then I combine it together into a journal so I trim it trim it according to the covers my cover size size cover cover size I don't know <laughs> so <laughs> so then I will go yeah I will choose I mean with this one it doesn't matter much because there's no writing uh, and then with the extra pieces I just either use for pockets or just as backing for um, um, some labels and tags and so there's a lot of so these are the two main pages that I use throughout as like standout pieces so there's a lot of small labels here to incorporate as well and I'll use this for the front cover this piece and it just right here so I've used again the same card but this time I run it through uh, the embossing machine to give it a bit of pattern so mine is not too big so I had to run it from I think both directions so it actually they are like um, um, one side went over the other side so it created like a, actually a nice pattern and with this one, I think because it got too thin, I need to stick it somehow, it got too thick, what I had to do at the end, I have folded it twice, so I can't remember the reason I've done it, I think it, I, um, I wanted something thick enough, so it's not going to be just like that, so this part is holding the main journal, and then when you tie it together, it, look, it has more of a, a book look, which is nice. And there you go. So again, from some extras, I made like a mini journal. So I think I've just, I know, I've sewn this bit together. Um, and yeah, these pieces, I like to show them on the round. So they are noticeable. This, the envelope comes with this piece so pretty i wish i could have i think i call this my dream house or something this kit because if i ever had like a bigger house <laughs> something is gonna happen i don't know and that was only for me and my friends to visit <laughs> i because i don't think anybody else again around me will like this style but uh, one day who knows so yeah so these are some images that are because the page the, these are quite big images i incorporate them as i they come to on a page you see here oh yeah this bit so basically what i've done i didn't cut yeah i left this uh, piece as it is and i just folded it uh, in two and that created basically a book page so this would be one side and this would be the other side so I, again when i go to trim uh, my the, like pieces i don't normally same here i wouldn't trim it as is at the beginning i might use this as pages and i will just print on the back any pattern page and so it's not blank on the other side so i'm going to go through these so these two pieces come with the kit so i've got one there's one and another one here 
think I should decorate them a bit more. I might have run out of patience during the end. With these extra pieces that I had, I just created these ruffle pockets. And this comes here. And I'm just gonna go through the pages quickly. Yep, this is, where is this other polish on another page? I was looking at. Um, some lace to cover here. And, oh, what I'll do to have this kind of sofa. Such a nice armchair. And all these bits and pieces, everything comes with the kits. With a leftover, I've created this mini envelope, just a square that you fold and stick the two sides here. And I've covered this with a bit of mesh fabric. And this is it. And this comes here. Come on. Right. Done. Here's another one. <laughs> Up. And again, leftovers I had. I just, it comes with so many small pieces to decorate with. So. Um, and they're all kind of the same colors, white, turquoise, and pink. So, very shabby. All right, so that was another one. And on to the last one. It's this one. Um, the reason I, well, at the beginning, I've created these kits with this size envelope. Then after starting to make it, I realized it's, I mean, after, I mean, this size was just about gonna fit here. So I've adjusted the, I've adjusted this envelope size. So if yours are not gonna be extremely thick, then you can store it uh, inside. So that just, I don't know, I'm gonna use it for something else. Um, yeah, so it comes with the pages actually, ooh. Um, with the pages to create this size journal and with this envelope you can um you can just store everything together in here and so they're just basically of cutting and folding these the book pages and we oh and then i incorporate oh yes I was gonna, so in this kit <laughs> it's a there are some images i took actually in god there is a beautiful french cafe style in the middle of goa in the middle of the mess in the middle of the chaos uh, i have no idea this that this is the most talented lady every little corner every little millimeter in this cafe is not big and uh, she thought it through and i had to come like super early in the morning to take uh, those pictures she kindly let me to uh, to take some snaps before the place is uh, got busy so she it was hard to capture everything but um, um i thought i would share because this is the most it's called eva cafe in anjuna goa so i would suggest google this if you're ever going to open a cafe <laughs> you might want to get some ideas because it's so pretty even when you go to the toilet there is um to the bathroom there is like a paper and she puts like beautiful little quotes that you just wanna, uh, you just choose one and you tear the piece, um, and just every she, every she thought about everything, the way she wraps the baguettes and serves the cookies, everything just beautiful, and uh, the jam it comes with a beautiful basket, and you forget completely that you're in India. I can't explain it. You need to be there to understand why just in this, this place is a proper escape and um yeah so yeah so this is another corner so just behind i mean it's all very simple but still so just behind the chair there is this uh, basket bag with um some roses inside so there i took a few pictures there and they're all inside and yeah paradise there shoes here love everywhere <laughs> it's 
so that's the sign as you come in so I thought I will try to create this kit around this color scheme with some extra lighter pages so it's not too dark too darky because the color of the cafe is like very like brownish so um yes yeah, so here's that little that thing so nice if i had space in my house i would like empty spaces i would do something like that i'll think about it maybe um yeah so this is it and it comes with these pieces and i might print a few and make just a little box just for laces and buttons just for decoration and i it comes with a few tags as well can't remember where is the other one somewhere here and uh, yeah so that's the last piece and for the envelope i've just sewn around i've printed this like on both sides and i had to make some patches here to uh, create double-sided print and here i've just sewn some mesh fabric um, I think that's everything. Uh, I love the color um, of this like brownish, greenish, pink, bit of turquoise uh, to try and match the brownish um, colors of that cafe. Um, that's it for now. Uh, it's Friday here, Friday morning, Easter break. Uh, Liam at the end still asleep. Um, I wish I could sleep as long as about. Um, I don't know, 6.30 a.m. here. So that's why probably I was like speaking um, just not too loud. So I hope you heard me okay. Not to wake up anybody. And uh, thank you so much. It was nice coming back. Thank you.